We saw the shepherd huts from the UK. We just love them. And we thought, hey, let's build one for our property. We've got a pond down there. We've got a couple places where we're like, yeah, let's experiment with some buildings. By the time we, you know, had figured it out, we liked it so much and we thought, hey, let's, let's try to build these for other people too. This is just one of the models that we do. Uh, we've, we've done a bunch of different designs, just like playing around with different aesthetic looks, trying to, you know, depending on if we want it to look a little more modern or retro or classic uh, shepherd hut. On this one, we, we wanted to go natural looking, so we chose Cedar Shakes, which has a nice texture to it. With this design here, you actually get a little bit more space out of the same square footage because we have the wall bumping out into a half round. It's nice because you get an extra four feet out of the same square footage. In Ontario, it's nice because there's not much you can do in terms of building small spaces, but this is what you can do. So it really opens up people's possibilities in terms of what they can add to their property and have it still be functional. So we have a, a sectional style sofa um, that's L-shaped. You could put a TV up here, so that'd be like a bit of an entertainment unit. Um, but then our sofa actually pulls out as well. Um, and these two mattresses would become the base for a, a double bed. Um, and these two would get stored under here. Uh, we have a bit of storage in the box under this side of the bed, as well as back here. Um, we have a little bit of space here. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough to store uh, some blankets and pillows and things. We did our, our desk and our table to hinge off the wall here so that you can put it up. You don't have to use it all the time. So that would be a desk and then it folds out and become, becomes a table. We've got some chairs on the wall here. Um, so you would just pull out the chairs off the wall, set them up, you know, a bit of an eating area um, or like playing a board game or whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah, so this thing folds up pretty easy. You just fold that, fold it right up into the wall and then lock it up. We built a Murphy bed to fold out of the wall here and go onto the ground. Uh, both beds can be open at the same time and it doesn't take up much room. We have a kitchen over here. You can do electric or propane fridges. We can do water from a fresh water jug under here and then hand pump it into a sink and then we can drain it into another jug or even outside onto the ground. We have some drawers and stuff here. We also put a, a couple wall shelves to also hold whatever cups and things like that. We wanted to do a separate bathroom in which you'd put a composting toilet. So it's small, but you can, you can put a composting toilet in here and you don't have to worry about running water and septic and sewage and all that stuff. The whole idea of the design that we're doing is we're trying to build every single one at the 108 square feet mark or the 100 square feet mark, depending on where you are, so that you can put it in your backyard. You don't need a building permit for it at all. Anywhere you can put a garden shed, you can put one of these. But obviously this is a lot better because you can sleep in it, you can cook in it, you can even go to the bathroom if you use a composting toilet. The idea of the Shepherd Hut actually has been around for a really long time. Uh, it primarily came out of the UK and that's where it's still really popular. What it was is it was a building that would be in farmers' fields that they would be able to move around depending on what field is being used for what at the time. Tiny houses I would love to do. It's just in Canada here, there's still so many regulations around what you can't do. You can't necessarily just put something in your backyard and live in it full time. You know, you need a running water, you need showers, you need toilets and all of that stuff. And as soon as you have septic and running water, you can't do it without a building permit. In Ontario, there's a lot of regulations. As soon as you do have a building permit, it'll say you need to be, build at least 900 square feet. And that's way bigger than any tiny home can ever really be to be called a tiny home. And if you build it on a uh, trailer here in Canada, like a roadworthy trailer, um, what happens is it becomes an RV and then you can't have it in your backyard anymore. And so it's, it's still, we're still waiting for basically the laws to loosen up and, and open up a little bit. What we're doing is like as much as we can do to get there before we run into those regulations. Well, we call it Gut Shepherd Huts. Uh, Gut is a German word. It means very good or an asset. My, my father's German, he's the one who you know, made this possible. Um, so it's my father and myself. We're keeping it very small. We build, the two of us, we do everything, everything that you see. We make our all our own windows and doors um, from scratch. We build all the furniture ourselves from solid woods, except for um, some plywoods, but most of it is solid. We have local guys milling all this wood for us. So we're trying to get as much as we can from as close to the source.
So this is uh, how we glue, glue up our uh, curved laminated beams. The insulation that we're using in here is the highest R value insulation you can get out of a styrofoam insulation. It's foil lined and it does really well inside of a panel as long as you foam up all the cracks around it, which we do. With the wheels, we have them uh, cast at a foundry in Orangeville and then we have some local guys do the chassis for us and we actually have a turning axle here. This axle turns so that you can actually still maneuver the building. So you can just hook it up to any tractor or even a, a pickup truck and you can uh, move it around the yard, no problem. It makes sense if you're going to add something to the property. It has to be small, building code wise, but you also kind of want it to be small. But you also want it to do a lot of things, so it was a challenge and, and we just had fun with it. And that's, I think that's why we like doing it. Thank you.